First, our top story tonight, there's a big hearing in Wetzel County Circuit Court next week to determine the future of Payton City High School. There are hundreds of people who are watching what happens. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Stephen Moore. 7 News reporter Jake McGlumpy shares what a recent court order to reopen the high school means and how it could save the home of the Wildcats. Last week, Wetzel County Circuit Court Judge Richard Wilson ruled that Wetzel County Schools Superintendent Cassie Porter illegally closed Payton City High School due to health concerns. The order states that when Superintendent Porter announced the school's closure, there was no evidence of a health and safety condition detrimental to students, faculty, or staff. Teresa Torreseva will be in the courtroom in about a week to prove that there is no harm to students or staff at the school and why it should remain open for the foreseeable future. Between now and then, the high school is open and the court's order makes that very, very clear. The band instruments that were taken need returned. Uh, the football and other sport practices that should be and could be underway can be underway. The school is open. According to the court order, the only reliable evidence is the U.S. EPA statement from June 12th of 2024 that states, quote, Vapor intrusion data collected at the high school does not indicate any unacceptable risks to students or staff using the high school. Based on the sampling results to date, a school closure was not recommended by EPA during any communication with the school district, end quote. This is actually probably one of the safest places in West Virginia because of the EPA designation as a Superfund site. There's been remediation effort, air and water quality, both testing and treatment. So we know the school is safe because of the EPA's designation. Torreseva says the superintendent's statute states she can temporarily close the school, but when the closure was announced, there were no plans to reopen it. Torreseva and her team will be focusing on the fact that Superintendent Porter closed the school without there being conditions that are detrimental to the health, safety, or welfare of the students. What matters is that the board is elected and the uh, superintendent is appointed and that her authority is limited very specifically by statute and the statute she's relying on she's misusing. The court order also states that the plaintiffs have a high likelihood of success on the merits at a full hearing due to what was provided from the people of Payton City. What I can tell you is that the people of Payton City, the Wildcats will overcome this and will persevere because adversity is sort of what they, what they eat for breakfast. In a statement from the West Virginia Department of Education, they state that they support Superintendent Porter's decision to close the school due to the health risks that it brings. Reporting in Payton City for 7 News, I'm Jake McGlumphy, working for you. Thank you, Jake. In a new filing on Monday, Tori Saba argues that the West Virginia Department of Education's support of Superintendent Porter's actions is not relevant to her alleged violation of the law. Now, the court ordered the preliminary hearing to be set for July 25th at 4 p.m. at the Wetzel County Courthouse. Well, another story we're following for you tonight.